Hey guys, welcome back to All About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie, that's my little sister Desiree. We just came out of the theater, we saw Disney's Cruella, the newest live action movie. Now, is this like all the other ones? Cause yeah, I know lately these live action movies have not been the best. Does Cruella fit within that same deal? Is it actually something good? I don't know, stay tuned and find out. Um, it is hot, so I do have my AC on, so you may be hearing that, <laughs> but whatever, you guys, it's hot. <laughs> All right, sister, what did you think about the movie? I really liked it. Uh, it gives us the background of Cruella, of how she gets her name. Emma Stone was, she was fantastic, yeah. We got double the Emma here, you guys. We got Emma Stone, we got Emma Thompson, Battle of the Emmas. Who was better? We'll let you know in a little bit. So this is, like she said, an origin story of Cruella DeVille. Now this isn't um, really tied in with the 101 Dalmatians until um, there at the end, because we do get an end, uh, well, mid end credit scene, which does tie in with the 101 Dalmatians. But if you are a fan of the 101 Dalmatians, this has nothing to do with it. This is Cruella's story. Now, of course, if you did see the trailer, we do, of course, see Dalmatians being a part of the movie, but they're not really like a huge part of the movie. When you kind of get her backstory, it really does make sense on why she is the way that she is. Um, now, personally, um, the Cruella that, of course, I would be comparing her to would be Glenn Close from like the uh, 90s uh, live action movies, which I totally dug. I'm totally here for. But if you kind of fit this in with Glenn Close's kind of 101 Dalmatians, I think it kind of fits really good. I can totally see that this is where she kind of started off and then that's kind of like the point where we see her and we know her as. The soundtrack here was really awesome. We do get a lot of iconic um, music, um, but I feel like at times it was a little overdone. I feel like they didn't need to use that much for certain scenes. The costume design, oh my God, it is Beautiful. stunning to look at. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know here who my favorite is, which Emma is my favorite. Stone was fantastic. She was, I love Emma Stone. I loved her since super bad, but Thompson, was freaking brilliant in this. Like she was definitely more of a Cruella, but they both did great. Like they both were like outstanding. I mean, I guess it's like an Emma thing. Mine was Emma Stone, like to portray, of course, amazing actor, but like having two personalities and working with basically uh, the enemy. One negative though is that it is way too long. It's like two and a half hours. And it's like, you feel it, but you don't feel it. Like it's a good and a bad thing because we really got into who Cruella really is. And this is again, her alter ego. She was technically Estelle, Estella? Estella. Estella. And then, you know, we gotta like murder Estella for Cruella to come to life. They could have like took a couple things out of there to maybe make it an even two hours. I still that. I don't know if you're gonna want to put this in. Like they could have gone with out a couple scenes of her crashing the, some of the parties with her yeah. fabulous gowns, with even that, though trying to upstage. Yeah. Well, I mean that like, was like it's still for, yeah, um, but like they did like didn't they do like four or five of those? Yeah, but those were fabulous outfits. They were again. It's like little things here and there but it makes it good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe some sentimental fountain scenes could have gone with, I would have preferred to go without okay. the sentimental fountain scenes. <laughs> also another thing, pretty sure everybody probably know, why is she talking to the fountain? Yes, I guess because like, <laughs> that's where she had told the mom that she wanted to go, so that was kind of like her last little moment with the mom, like this fountain. They talked about it. They talked about going and like maybe having some tea, but they never meet it. I feel like there's something else I wanted to tell. Oh, the freaking dog, uh, Wink, right? Yeah, Wink. Wink. Such a cute oh little it's chihuahua dog. So it's a little thieving little chihuahua. This is one of those that is available on Disney Premiere for the $30. I personally would never 
ever recommend for you to pay $30 for a movie at home, but totally understand if theaters are not open in your area, if you don't feel comfortable going back into theater. Um, I feel the only reason it would be worth the $30 because it is a great movie is if you do have a large family or if you get like maybe like your siblings or get like your little cousins, um, you know, nieces and everybody, nephews to come and watch the movie. It is rated PG-13, so it might not be for like the little ones once because it is really dark. I love the look of it as well. And there's like death also yeah. uh, but there was little kids in the uh, theater definitely less than, I mean younger than 13 years old and they seemed to really enjoy themselves yeah. like they were like cheering on and I'm like a little twist little little kids but I love it I love it but I just wanted to kind of point that out if you do have younger kids and if this is a movie that you were kind of looking into it um, it is a Disney movie it is PG-13 but it is more on the darker tone side of it honestly one of the better Disney live action movies. If Disney would continue to make the villain movies like they did this, that would be like freaking awesome. Like yeah. I would love to see a, an Ursula one. Cause I, like I said, I love Little Mermaid and I love Ursula. But um, enough of that. Cause you know, this, this review is going on a little bit longer than <laughs> it should okay. have. Cause it's really good movie, you guys. Like yeah. what would you, what, what are you rating it? Rating it a large. Oh. It is a great movie. And I totally agree. Large popcorn. It's not perfect, you guys. It's not perfect perfect by any means necessary. But it mm -hmm. is very, very entertaining. Great acting. The fashion is awesome. I think like in three months, three, four months, I think it's usually when premiere in theater, then go to Disney um, for free, like included with your membership. But if you've seen Cruella, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Who's your favorite Disney villain? Like I said, mine would be Ursula because I just love The Little Mermaid. Who's yours? And putting me on the spot. I there. am putting you on the spot. <laughs> it would be Maleficent. Maleficent. Maleficent's a good one. That's a really good one. Maleficent would definitely be. Well, I mean, Ursula has powers too. So it could be a nice little. Like, I think if I were to, like, kind of, like, grasp you with my tentacles and, like, bring you down, I could probably be you. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, in the sentence, though? Mal almost didn't. The daughter didn't wasn't able to get her. Those are the well, kids. The daughter. Yeah. Those are the kids. But also Look, you don't know. Those are the kids. We can't put mamas up against the kids. Because the mamas <laughs> have more power and more experience. They're still in school trying to learn things. <laughs> don't come after my Ursula, you guys. I mean, probably Melissa Vincent would probably win. But you know what? I'm going to stand with my Ursula. Anyway, goes. That's it for you guys. We kind of had like a little moment there at the end. <laughs> don't forget to, of course, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification. No, damn it. Why did I go like this again? Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.